It's common today for media and pundits to comment on how this contraction we're having and the problems associated with coronavirus COVID-19 might compare to 2008 or uh, some want to go as extreme as the Great Depression of the 1930s, which is a little hard to figure out why anybody ever thought that was great, but that's neither here nor there. The fact is that it's a little bit like comparing apples to kangaroos. The one has just got nothing to do with the other. 2008 and the Great Depression of the 1930s, led by 1929, were both reactions to prior problems built up inside a booming economy that had to be overcome, coupled with bad governmental policy. This that we face now is just fundamentally a different beast. It's a purely structural clampdown aimed at trying to do things that you've read well about, flatten the curve, a now famous phrase, to try to stem the risk of overloading our hospital systems with the knowledge that that'll hurt the economy. It's a fundamentally different thing because there's no fundamental basis inside our economic system, inside our businesses, that have to be fixed before we can rebuild. So rebuilding can come back much faster if the clampdowns are released. It's just fundamentally a different animal. Personally, I hope the clampdowns can be released very soon. And if so, we'll get a very fast bounce back compared to a normal recession. Normal recessions and big ones like 2008 or worse, the Great Depression, are long and extended while you overcome those prior problems. This one just requires starting back up again where you previously shut down. That should be a much faster process and should be happier for all, and we should all hope it works that way very well.